What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's White Gamer. Today we have the updated max rated fullback build. This is the fullback build that I personally use when I play fullback, so let's get into it. So for your position, you're either going with right back or left back, all up to you. Your height, we're going with 6'1". This year when you're playing fullback, you do want to have some height, especially if you're playing competitive or just in the higher divisions because you never know, you might come up against tall opponents, so you do want to have some height for your fullback. For your weight, we went with 174 pounds, and then your preferred foot, that is all up to you. So this is how you want your weight, your height to be. Now for your running style, guys, we're going with the dasher. This has been my favorite one this year as a fullback and as a center back. Go with the dasher. I don't know what it is, but your pro having his arms spread out just makes it look quicker. Remember, running styles do not, do not affect your stats. I want to make that very clear because... Even though I repeat myself throughout all these builds, people always tend to comment. Running styles do not affect your stats. It's just a visual thing. But go with the dasher for your running style. Now for the three perks, the first one we have is Precision Pass. Again, remember, these are the exact same perks that I use for my fullback build. Precision Pass is really good because not only does it increase your pass ac accuracy, your short pass and long passing, but it gives you the five-star weak foot whenever you do a short pass. And as a fullback, you are going to be pushing up a bit. And you want to be able to pass, which I think is very important for a fullback to be able to pass. For your second perk, we are going with a threaded pass. This is going to increase your vision, which vision is really important to determine how accurate the passing is. So whenever you do a through ball in the ground or in the air, you're going to have a five-star weak foot as well. So basically, whenever you do a pass, you're going to have a five-star weak foot, which like I said, it's very important to be able to pass with both of your foot as a fullback. Third but not least, we have the physical strength. As my third perk, this is going to boost your strength, your ball control, and jumping, and when you're shielding the ball. And also the heading is going to get boosted as well. This is a very, very good perk to make that fullback just a bit more stronger. So boys and girls, these are the three perks that I went with. Precision pass, threaded pass, and physical strength. And these three perks work very, very, very well for me. So I highly recommend you guys to try it out. Everyone, now we have the skill tree again. This is the fullback build that I use in Levin Blend Competitive. A lot of you guys have been asking for it, so here it is. Of course, this works well for divisions, so let's get into it. So for this side, you usually don't want your strength and reaction. For this right side, we're going to go with jumping, reactions again. You're going to go with acrobat, archetype, and then the jumping, jumping, and then you're going to go with the reactions again. So this will give you 96 jumping, which is very, very important as a fullback. You want to be able to jump really, really high as possible because you never know. You might come up against a team that crosses a lot and you do need that jumping to help you out with that. And it's just really good to have jumping on as a fullback. Then you have 95 stamina. That is more than enough for you to run back and forth. And the pitch, 82 strength is more than enough. Most of the wingers that you're going to be coming up against or your opponents aren't going to be that strong. So that 82 strength is more than enough. And then you have the 93 reaction, which that's going to allow your pro to react quicker to certain scenarios. And when they're receiving the ball, your pro is receiving the ball, it's going to react quicker to that. And then the 79 aggression, again, same thing for strength. It's more than enough, the 79 aggression. So this is how you want your physical to look like. Now for your defending we're going to max it out. Remember, at the end of the job, you are a fullback. Your job is to defend that wing and not to get beat. So this is going to give you 94 interceptions, which is very, very, very good. 96 defensive awareness, which that's the most important stat here as a defender, is your defensive awareness because the defensive awareness is going to allow you to perform better standing tackles, better slide tackle, and it's going to allow your player to just intercept the ball much, much better. Then you have the 94 standing tackle with the 97 slide tackle. So this is how you want your defending to look like. Now, for dribbling, we're going with agility. We're going with ball control, balance, balance, ball control. And we're going with balance. And then we're going with the links archetype. So this will give you 66 agility. And I know for a lot of people that might be low. But guys, this is more than enough. You're, you're not going to be skilling a lot. The most you're going to do is a ball roll. Or a roulette. That's all you need to do. You don't want to be doing elasticals and nothing crazy absurd like that. What really matters from this dribbling thing is the balance and the ball control. You want your player to have good control of the ball when you're getting passes. You don't want to be taking horrible touches because that could lead to you giving the ball away. And then the balance is good. It's going to make it really, really hard for opponents to knock you off the ball. 
with that balance so this is how you want your dribbling to look like now for the passing we're gonna get this whole middle roll right here so you are gonna get the artist archetype then for this right side we're going with short passing vision architect archetype and then you're gonna go with the long passing so this will give you 80 vision which that's more than enough this is gonna determine how accurate your short passing and long passing is remember you have that threaded pass and the persistent perk which will ha help out with the vision the long pass and the short passing and then your crossing is at 92 which is very good when you're ever you're pushing up and you need to cross it in those crosses are going to be very very accurate the 80 long passing that's more than enough guys the threaded pass is going to help out with that and then the short passing 94 is very very good those passes are going to be pinpoint to your teammate nearby and then you have the 85 curve in case you want to do an outside of the foot pass so this is how you want your passing to look like for shooting you're going to skip it and then for pace everyone we're going to max it out it is important that you have pace as a fullback because 99 percent of the time your opponents the wingers that you come up against are going to be pacey so you want to be able to catch up with them so this will give you 87 acceleration and 98 sprint speed which is insane if we back out you are going to be a 93 rated this is the max rated again this is the built that i use when i play fullback it's very very good if we take a look at the overall stats you're going to be a 93 pace 85 physical 95 defending 74 dribbling 87 passing and the shooting doesn't matter but guys this is a very very well rounded off fullback again i use this in competitive 11 v 11 and it works wonders let me know what you guys think about this drop a like subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time